doing the using as a just an engineer user the software not developer point of view because it's a uh, quite it's almost impossible to understand all the possible variation in a project uh, to be inside the smart part uh, so i would also like to show you what Can i was Yes, this is what I'm going to. Yes, this is what I'm going to show you now how to do. So, in order to save this type, maybe also with some dimensions, I will add them just to have a big, uh, a better description of what I'm saving. Okay, and this one is something bigger. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is use this library. You have default office and project. If I go to the office, any of your colleagues will be able to see it and use it. Otherwise, it's just saving per project. So it, uh, it, these are just folders where you decide to save your symbol. For instance, if I go to project, in this particular project, I will have to create first a group and I'll say minimum reinforcement enforcement whatever i can also create inside columns and inside i will say insert symbol and i will select only the reinforcing the reinforcement <clears throat> in order to do this i'm going to use this filter select this edge or make let's say the left top left uh, will be the one we'll always choose this dumb symbol this snoop means also picking some uh, distance for from an element but <clears throat> follow my advice and always select this dumb symbol and click this not to be prompted again and here we'll say column uh, 30 by 60 for instance and what I'm doing here is actually saving the 3d reinforcement and with this I can use, use it then on another project I'll also save the next one this one so I go again to library insert symbol and then filter this one still take the same and it's a l 60 by 60 and uh, what is the main advantage is i can use in any project on any other drawing if i go to a different drawing I can use any time, even if I'm on another project, I can bring up these 3D elements I just created. So if I have a column by in another project, I have a similar column or not even similar. I have a quite different column. So I have a column that has these sizes. 30 by 70, not 60. Okay, but rotate it a bit. So I have this column inside this pro other project I'm doing. I'm opening my personal database of reinforcement. I just drag and drop here and click here. And I see, okay, it's not enough for me. I need to be bigger by 10 centimeters. I just say stretch entities select this entire carcass and then go on the right side extra 10 centimeters okay i don't know what happened let me hit undo why they moved us okay they moved because I, I should have selected everything 
I'm using filters, however, I have to select uh, also the hooks of them. Uh, let's make the transparency, this column transparent, so we see the reinforcement. Okay, there are missing some hooks here. I think well, I, I didn't save them, so I just adapt them. And then we can do multiplicate the reinforcement because the reinforcement it also for some it covers some distance. Unfortunately, there is no split option. So if I if I don't want to exceed, I have to start changing segments. So the only trick I can show you now is just how we can extend these areas. But uh, if we get longer than 12 meter, let's say rebars, uh, the program won't give us a warning or a solution. So I can stretch this to adapt and then start changing areas of it. But uh, when it comes to longitudinal reinforcement, I just have to copy and shorten them. I will press more the developers to do this split option as it would be more productive because now it's not okay as uh, I am uh, going to take a partial schema and it will be longer than the one we allowed. We allowed five something, so the solution would be now just to make some modifications here and then I can complete with another rebar, choose it to have the overlapping of uh, eight, 80 centimeters and then whatever, do shortenings, uh, adding hooks, so I have to work, I don't have the options to split and overlap. But we will keep uh, the developers, uh, we'll offer them this idea and say it's important for any country to do this. But this is my solution for you to get fast production, Just do you just pick up from the project you already did, so you don't need to work from scratch. And do this collection, share it with your colleagues, this uh, database, and it's faster for even students. If you hire them, they just have their work will consist of, let's say, placing the dimension lines and not properly doing all the reinforcement. Is it okay? Have you used this library before? Uh, did you ever use the library? Yeah. Ah, okay. We have used for the title block and everything. Okay, okay. So you also know what all plan already contains. In this default, you have pro yeah. still profiles. Okay. So uh, let's go uh, back on. Uh... There is an Indian steel profile in this. What? In the library. Indian steel profile. Yes, <laughs> uh, they are hidden, so you cannot find them without training, <laughs> joking. Uh, here, in unfinished structure, you have steel, and you have either ideal, which ideal means uh, they are simplified, so you, they are not perfectly rounded. Uh, and the alternative is here, with 2D and also rounded. They are European. They are not Indian standard or what? ISMB, I, ISA like this. Okay, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, well, uh, the thing is, we would like to make some requirements uh, that you have uh, for the Indian market because uh, it's quite simple. If uh, there's a market for the software for all plan, they will develop. If they know all plan will be sold in India, they will develop whatever you need. Uh, the problem is uh, uh, we would like to know, for instance, uh, where did you bought all plan and uh, why don't you get assistance from the one you bought? If we can discuss this issue, uh, 
Okay, we can continue and then after we finish the training discuss about this. Uh, so, about uh, oil plant in India. We are uh, interested, Nemcha Romnia, to understand uh, why don't you get support for the one from the seller of the software and you need to pay another country to get help. Uh, can you still hear me? So the seller doesn't have experience in the teaching. Actually, I have trained sellers and in my office. So you you are training uh, for the seller, all plans or? I have. Yeah, I have trained a little bit over and there. Initial few steps over there in my office for 15 days. Okay, so you're doing the first steps in all plan with in India, right? You're a trainer for India. You offer support to the seller, right? You <laughs> or still learning. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Initial phase. Initial phase. Mm -hmm. For what? <laughs> I didn't get the last part. For what? <laughs> You do the training? So you are training him, not the other. Okay. And uh, can you tell me what is the name of the company that sold you all plan? Where did you bought all plan from? Can you please type? You have access to my computer. R A M. Uh, please type if you. Okay, perfect. Okay, RAM card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you did hear only some basic training, or... Hmm. Okay. Okay, so uh, we'll get uh, further. We just want to know... Uh, we wanted to know because uh, normally it's his duty. For instance, for our country, for Romania, we have a lot of implementation done only to solve our country's need. So uh, this is why I'm asking who sold you the software and who is offering you support. Because normally the seller should offer you all the support that you need and uh, push the developers to satisfy your country's need. So this is why I'm, uh, I was asking. Uh, is it okay to go further with the questions you had?